imagine you could observe and rate your videos without taking care of any overlaps or gaps of coding in those uh, videos. With Intract, you can. Let me just give you an example. There is a very simple coding system. consists of codes like A, B, C, D, E in one class called Class 1. I'm opening the video file and I want to start my observation. I have, a, as I said, a very simple coding system here. Let's play the video and add some codes. As you can see in the background, Intract is collecting those events. So just say a few more. That's it. Stop observation. Let me remove that unnecessary class here. So we have a class with those codes, those events. I can make double clicks and the video is always jumping to exactly that fragment from start to end. Let's go to analysis. That's my coding system. And actually, this is my coding. As you can see here, I have gaps between my codes. And this is what makes my coding not exhaustive. So in statistics, I wouldn't get 100% of coding all over the time here. Let's take a look at it later. Now, I figured out during my observation, I want to have some more codes because I saw something more interesting. So let's change our coding system and add some more like code X, um, Y and C, and also class one. Let me just copy that. Let's sort it. There are no key, keys assigned yet, so I push that button here, the keys X, Y and C, save. Now I've added three more codes. Now here comes the trick. I rewind the video because I want to just take a look at those new codes. I start observation again, play the video, and focus only on those three codes here, let's say. Uh, here that appears, and this appears here, this appears again, and now here this happens, and that happens again. So much for that. So when I sort the intract coding, you can see my new codes were inserted here in between, and I should have some overlaps. Yes, here they are. Because I rewinded the video and I didn't take care of anything, I just added the codes because I saw something in the video. Now, obviously, this and that code cannot happen at the same time. And here is the trick that I want to show you. Just go into the Transform tab, go to Optimize, and say Remove Overlaps or Make my coding exclusive or mutual exclusive. I have only one class, otherwise I could se select uh, the classes I want to have. Just hit the OK button here, and now voila, my coding is exclusive. Let's verify that. As you can see here, I don't have any overlaps anymore. Actually, there was an overlap here, and that was cut exactly with the beginning of the next uh, code. I can take a look at the statistics. Now, here are my statistics on those codes. And as I said, we wouldn't get 100% of coded time if we summarize all the percentages here because there are the gaps in between. So the coding is mutually exclusive but not exhaustive yet. There's another button here that says Transform, Optimize, Add Missing Events or Make Exhaustive push that, yes, select my class, and my code should be null or nil or however you will call that. Just hit OK. Here are, are my new codes. Go to analysis. My coding system is, uh, or has the new code in here. OK. And here are my 
null codes every time I didn't define another code. Here are my statistics, and now everything is fine. I have a mutual exclusive coding system, um, even though I didn't take any care of is there a code already given during the time frame or not. I just was pressing my keys, as you could see before, and added the information that I want to have. And this is exactly what Interact stands for. Don't care of any of the data management. Just observe your videos and type in whatever you need or whatever you see at that moment. And Interact take, takes care of everything. Um, I hope this was interesting and um, to see you on one of the next demos. Thank you and goodbye.